chub it a chip 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 check oh let's see here we are at the intergalactic airspace expo i have no sound yet so um We got <clears throat> Batman over here. Um, bear with me for just a second. Just getting a couple things set up here. And then we're going to get right to it. Do, 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 do. live and um, we're here at the Star Citizen Intergalactic Aerospace Expo 2952 that's the year in game but it's actually 2022 here in the real world um, and I am Brad of 73 your host for today's walkthrough of the Drake interplanetary uh, show floor showroom floor so if you guys are used to star citizen or iae they basically do it's it's kind of like a trade show where they've got all of their new vehicles and all of their old vehicles and basically all of their vehicles out on the showroom floor uh there's going to be several different showrooms and we're just going to take a quick look at them all so i guess i better get started um i want to do one more thing before before I get started, let's see here. That. This. Uh, and, oh my gosh. Oh no. I'm like watching my own live stream. <laughs> oh, let's see here. Bear with me, bear with me. No! I don't know why it's still showing that, but whatevs, whatevs. Wait, is that? All right. <laughs> we are finally here. So yeah, there's the entrance, and so yeah, this year we've got the brand new Drake Corsair. Um, you guys probably saw my video for it um, just a day or two ago. So that's pretty cool. And I are all three of these the same? They're all all three of them are exactly the same. Um, I thought there might be some like different paint schemes or something, but I guess they kind of thought, well, you know. Oh, okay. So the Corsair. So that's what this big screen was uh, that they had back in. Um, what was it? Uh, PTU uh, last week. Uh, we've got the Caterpillar. But that's not the even bigger... Well, the Corsair is big news. But the even bigger news is the Cutter, which I hope is going to be over here somewhere. I have not looked at the Cutter yet. Um, the Cutter is the brand new starter ship from Drake. Um, it's arguably going to be maybe one of the best starter ships, uh, just b based on its size and, and price. It's 40 bucks. So um, it's about, let's see, $15 more than all of the rest of them. Okay, here's our cutlasses. 
we've got the cutlass steel, cutlass blue, cutlass red, and in the back is the cutlass black. We've all seen these before. Where's the cutter? That's going to be something that that's, I think is going to be hugely confusing moving forward is the fact that they've got two ships named the cut something. So you've got the cutter and the cutlass. Hopefully this is the cutter display. Where is it? Where? Hey, there it is. And we've got the vulture over there too. That's the uh, the new um, the new salvage ship. We actually looked at that back at um, Invictus launch week back in June, I think May, late May, early June. So here is the new cutter. No side doors. <clears throat> Got a little um, entryway there. Um, two SCU of cargo right there. Or it might be four. I don't know if they stack on top of each other. Um, somebody told me two the other day. We've got all of our component racks right over here. Oh, I don't have my helmet on, so I can't turn. I can't turn the uh, my helmet light on. We've got the little bedroom area. We've got a little bathroom in here. Actually, I'm gonna put my helmet on because. Wait, where's the? There's there's your little toilet. Shower. Very cool little ship. There's the bed. Oh, where is the... Oh, right there. Oh. Yeah, there we go. Now we got the little reading light there. Ooh, open. Oh, that's the uh, ship uh, external storage. What? I think that's actually supposed to be your internal storage. Um, not exactly sure what this is. This almost looks like a fire hydrant or uh, fire extinguisher receptacle. Or maybe, maybe it's like the food port. <laughs> I don't know. And then we've got our little cockpit in here. This actually looks like a... Um, it looks like a ladder. What is that? Oh, oh, I know what it is. It's the um it's the, your server blades. Kind of strange though. Okay, so we've got another slot here, an empty slot for an additional um, server blade. That's interesting. Oh, no. I'm going to have to take a closer look at this because nothing's... I don't think anything's going to power up. Let's see. Open exterior. There's um some... Let me see if A does it. There's actually some external shields along the side, but um, I don't think I can access those in this in this iteration of the cutter. Joshua Thorne says hi in the chat. Nick Garza, who who the heck is that? Oh no, he's. I just I just saw him up on the screen. No god. Oh, look at this. Look at these little windows in the back. Hmm. Let's see. What's the back 
look like with can I close this? Get out of here. So it's actually like a fairly decent amount of room. I wonder if we can fit a PTV or a well PT the the Yeah, the PTV should fit in here. The SVT or STV uh, might also be it might also fit in here. That one's going to be pretty tight. But I'm going to pick one of these up and maybe do a video later today. Um, let's see. Photos Yian... Yianori says, Hello, Brad. Can you play this game with controller? Um, you kind of can. Yes, you can play with a controller, but your controls are limited. Um... Because there are a lot of controls for Star Citizen. So, so here is the, uh, the Drake Vulture. <clears throat> which appears to have some missing... Oh, there we go. <laughs> and we actually took a look at... Whoa! We actually took a look at this uh, earlier in the year... Fairly similar interior to the cutter with the bed and everything. <clears throat> and then the um, the bridge here. And you can actually walk outside over here. Yeah. <clears throat> I'm sorry my voice, like... I just got up um, oh, about an hour ago, and I always am uh, kind of stopped, stuffed up in the morning. Yeah, we can actually climb up right here. Do I have, oh, I have to, actually have to use the ladder. So just to give you guys a perspective on the size, and I, apparently I'm hovering over the top of it. Don't know what that's all about. But this is just a display, so yeah. Still a very cool ship. Um, it's definitely gonna be like the starter salvage ship. So I think this one's going to be super duper popular when it comes out in 318, which is going to be next month. Yeah. So, yep, we've got the Vulture, the Drake Cutter. I'm going to have to buy one of these just because. And I also need to pick up a Corsair, which... I completely forgot to look to see like how much it is. I can find that out for you guys here in a few minutes though. That won't be a problem. So we've got the cutties over there. Oh my gosh! There's so many people here locally. When when I when everything was getting ready to kick off, there were I don't know how many people were in the lobby. It was hilarious how many people were there usually in star citizen you don't get to see that many people all bunched up in one spot let's see apex hall three is closed off let's run back over here and hall two that's also closed off Let's take a look um, down below. We'll kind of finish out looking at the uh, the Corsair again. No. Oh, oh. Here's the little Drake mules. 
See, I wonder if a mule would fit in the back of a cutter. Dude, if you can get a mule in there, it's going to be like the perfect ship for muling. It's got the dragonflies over there. No Hello Kitty dragonfly. Um, usually, I mean, in past I IAEs, they've had the, the Hello Kitty. No, it's not the Hello Kitty. It's the space. What is it called? Space Kitten or something. Galaxy Kitten Cat. I don't know. But a lot of times they've had that on display in previous years, and they, they don't. Oh, the Kraken. Which is a capital ship. I actually own one of these, but God only knows when it's actually going to be in game. But there she is. The, the best... This is by far the best version of the Kraken in the hollow viewer we've seen it's absolutely massive you can see the big landing pad there on the top i think it's got like six landing pads and you can see there's like a garage or something there up on that pad it, this is this ship's gonna be massive it's bigger than the 890 jump though a lot uglier but it's it's essentially like a Kind of like an old school aircraft carrier in a way. Yeah, we've got the four pads. These are for like small ships, like fighters. And then also, there's two more hangar bays down here that are, you know, protected. So very big ship i mean you can even see up here there's the turret there's a gun turret there i think this is a remote turret here but i mean just imagine sticking like a guy in there and he's you know you know if he was standing right here on the ledge he might be like this tall something like that so you can see how huge the ship is Um, I have the standard Kraken. Uh, they've got the Privateer, which has like a, I don't know, like a bazaar, you know, like a sales area on the inside. But I was like, I don't really see how that's going to work out in the game. Uh, so I don't know. Well, let's go back upstairs and we're going to check the Corsair out again. Because I'm probably going to pick one of these bad boys up. Which I never did buy one in uh, concept. Yeah. I probably lost some money there, but that's the way that goes. Worst case scenario is I hold off and, um, you know, find a good CCU chain for them. <laughs> Save some money. Um, actually, I might have access to one now. Oh, no. Uh, that's not what I was wanting to look at. 400 I Oh, no. I, I'm going to have to actually go to the spaceport to see if I have access to one. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, no. They don't show all... They don't show all the ships that I have in storage. Oh, wait. Yeah, they do. No, they don't. Hmm. Interesting. Her L1. Hmm. I don't know. Oh, let me check really quick. How much is the... How much is this thing? There we go.
<laughs> so yeah, the cutter is 40 bucks straight out, straight across the board. Uh, if you're a concierge member, they do have a, a limited edition paint scheme for it. Uh, let's see, Drake Course Air. So the War Bond is $225. And then the standalone is $250. So again, War Bond is new money. Standalone is new money or store credit. They also have a Corsair and Dragonfly Black uh, combo, which is $250 and $275. Bucks. And there's also some paints for them. Kind of like a yellowish paint. Um, one called the Eternity, and another one called the Commando, which is like green. The Eternity paint looks like it's like a black color. Kind of hard to see. So I'm gonna have to do a showcase on those later. So 225. Let me see. There. I'm gonna tab out here. We're gonna lose. Oh gosh like a lot of noise hopefully you guys aren't uh hearing that coming through from my um it did say disable sound and i did not disable the sound so sorry about that um da, 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 da. Uh, let's see so i'm going to log in to where am i going to log in Robert Space Industries, we are going to look once again. Uh, you guys are just going to see the show floor. I'm looking at the, the, the RSI website. Um, Valley Mill Crew. Let's see. Let's disable the audio this time. Because I'm logged into my account on this PC, so I just wanted to see if there was a... There does not appear to be a concierge option. Kind of surprises me. <clears throat> but yeah, they've got the the three paint pack for the Corsair. It's got the OD green, kind of like this yellow and gray color, and then like a yellow and black with a red stripe. Kind of piratey looking there. All right. So yeah, let's check out this bad boy. Let's check it out. Heed the call of uncharted space and harness the spirit of exploration with the Drake Corsair, a worthy companion supporting you in battle, discovery, and delivery wherever the winds of adventure may steer you. Okay. Let's just hope they have the lights turned on for once. And it appears they do. Congratulations. It's so often that we, uh, that they, like the last several years, either at Invictus or IAE, they've had, um, this actually looks like a little mini elevator, but it's not. Um, they, they've had issues where when you get onto the ships, there's no way to turn the internal power on. Uh, this is the side airlock. Somebody left the door open. So that's going to be an airlock. I'm sure there's probably going to be a way to extend it, maybe? I would hope so, because I can't imagine just having this short little airlock. I mean, it's doable, but yeah... Gravity generator, cables, and all kinds of nonsense up there. Got the crew mess and the four crew bunks. One, two, three on that side. And we've got the toilet, shower, sink, and dare grind body wash. 
Uh, let's see. What, what do we have in here? That is a weird looking hammer. It does not look like it would be cool to use. It looks cool, but it's not aligned with, you know, the norms of society. System access. Oh, we've got the um, elevator here. Which goes up to the roof. And we've got these awesome levers. Let's see, this goes to the surface. Where we've got these homeboys. No, we're going to the top. No. See ya. Come on, take me higher. Finally. This is the only ship that I know of that actually has roof access. That is so bizarre to me. Wait, what's going on with my browser? Wait, did I? Oh my gosh, did I really? No, I did not. What? What? We're having technical difficulties. Ah, there we go. Yeah, literally a elevator to the roof. Not that there's much to do up here, so I don't know why you would want to take the elevator to the roof unless there's some type of an advantage to coming in this way in zero G. Like maybe this has gravity. So if you're coming in from an EVA, you walk over here, you've got gravity and then it just moves, you know, you can move down inside. Now here's the fun part. The door to the interior opens, venting all the atmosphere to space. So, um, ki thus killing everybody as they're sitting here <laughs> eating, um, eating their uh, dinner. Uh, we've got the two side turret access here and over here. We've got the main bridge, uh, the captain's quarters. Um, we've got a little space closet here. Ah! which you can lock yourself into if you're not uh, careful. And then of course the main bridge and the secondary, well, the co-pilot seat, check this out. <laughs> right there. Is that, is that not cool or is that not cool? Not exactly sure what all, I know you can get rear uh, turret access. I'm assuming that we also get the front gun access with that, but I don't know. Since um, since the front guns aren't really a turret, I don't know. Oh, 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 oh. Come on, man. So yeah, on the um, on the version that's black, basically this gray area up here is black. I think some of the wings are black, and then there's like a big bright red stripe right there where the yellow stripe is. Cool me says, hi, BB. Hi, BB. <laughs> so yeah, pretty freaking cool. We've got two more massive ships. Well, one's not so massive. But three three ships. No, it's just one. So if you want to go and uh, drop your paycheck on one of those bad boys, go do it right now. 
If you're brand new to Star Citizen, you want to uh, get started, use my referral link down in the video description. It'll get you an extra 5,000 Alpha UEC starting off in the game. Man, I want to go get a cutter. I want to go get one right now and go and fly one. The, the cutlass I've already gotten. I need to see if I have access to the cutlass. Yeah, this is this is the uh, the caterpillar. You guys have seen this a million times. One of the oldest ships in the game. Command access. Hello. Yeah, we've got the bridge. So the bridge is somewhat similar to the uh, the Corsair. Well, I, let's run over to the spaceport really quick. I want to see... I just want to see if I've got access to the, the Corsair. I don't know. I don't think that I do. But there's a chance that I might... I could tell you why, but... Then I'd have to kill you. No, I wouldn't have. I wouldn't do that. I wouldn't do that to you guys. Look at, look at, look at, I just love the star ceiling like that. Like I can, I can remember being out in Las Vegas. Like some of the, some of the casinos out there have these star ceilings and they're just freaking awesome. The carpet. And the, the sound, like one thing you guys probably don't get, when you're wearing he when you're wearing a headset, you don't get the same, you, you get be way better audio fidelity than you're probably going to get watching on YouTube, unless you're, you know, got earbuds in or something like that. Oh, hello, space kitten. Um, wait, why are the... Look at the look oh that now the textures start to load in. There we go. That looks better. Yeah, there's the star kitten um <laughs> the helmet. Uh you don't get to see that too often. I gotta take a screenshot of that. That's funny. And then as always, you can pick up your IAE 2952 ball cap and t-shirt here. Uh I don't you know, one thing I, I haven't seen is they don't have leather jackets this year. Or maybe that's a, maybe the leather jacket's like the Invictus thing. I would have swore they had them in previous years, though. But again, I might just be thinking of the Invictus uh, show, which they do. The, the Invictus shows are in, what, June? End of May, early June. Let's see. Uh, we'll go to the commons. We'll go this direction just because it's probably going to be a little bit faster. Uh, Jason <coughs> Red asks, does this game work on a 1080 Ti? Yes, it will. I actually used to run this um, on my base 1080 until the end of last year. So I've actually been running on my 3080 Ti for less than a year. Um, and it would run fine on my uh, my 1080. But I'm also running at 1440p. So I don't know what resolution you're running in. If you're running in 1080p, it's probably gonna be just fine. If you're running at 1440p, you're probably not gonna get quite as good frame rates, but it's definitely gonna be playable. Like no, no if ands, or buts. Definitely, definitely going to be playable. Uh, no, this is the commons. We'll run out here to the front. Hopefully it's daylight out. I always hate going across the lake on the tram uh, at nighttime. Here we go. And it's nighttime. Now well, at least we can look back. Oh, we can look back at the city. Oh, it's kind of like just at sunset, after sunset. So there's your view of uh, 
New Babbage, the city of New Babbage. And we're coming up on the spaceport, which is really hard to see at night. Whoa! The, the biggest thing that I really notice running my 3080 Ti compared to my older um, 1080 is like the smoothness on the trams. Now, the, the other thing that's happened with, you know, in the last year is they've made a lot of graphical optimizations. So, you know, it might just be that too. You might, you might get, you know, if I were to swap out my 3080 Ti for my old 1080, um, it might perform better now. Oh, look at that. Ooh, what happened to that guy? <laughs> Something bad. But yeah, the game is very playable on a 1080. 1080 is a really good GPU. Um, I guess he doesn't want to get on the... Uh... Ba, 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 getting off tram. From the best shops, dining and entertainment. There's the city over there, the IAE Expo Hall. It's really hard to see at night. It really sucks that. That it, uh, it's not here. All right, we're gonna take a quick look over here. I'm. I might have. A, I don't think I do. I'll be surprised. No. No Drake Corsair. So I'm gonna actually have to go and buy one. Great. Do, do, do. I'm, I might actually have to wait until the end of IAE to take advantage of that. Well, I think that is going to be it. So we took a look at day one, the Intergalactic Aerospace Expo. I believe tomorrow is Origin. Do I have to go back to the IAE hall to see what tomorrow may bring? I might actually have to do that. Do, do, do. What? I'm already running low on water and food? No, just water. Do, 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 do. Train arriving in seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Here she comes. Oh, yeah. Can we sit? Can we finally sit down? Wait, we can. No, oh, I got to move my external camera around. <laughs> Usually, I I have all my fancy garb on for. Uh, for IAE, I just didn't do it this year. I don't know why. Maybe I'll run back to Hurston and pick up my uh, my space marshal space marshal armor. Ugh. I need more coffee. 
my coffee's cold. Blech. I just love how my guy's like looking at the camera, tilting his head inquisitive, inquisitively. Like, huh, I wonder what. I'm just looking at Brad M73, but he is me. Let's ponder. Let's ponder the questions of the universe. Whoa. Okay, I better. I better get back into first person and stand up here. Oh gosh. Hello, underwear man. He's like, what you looking at? Like, what you looking at on the... Mr. I'm standing here in my underpants. Okay. There's always one of them. The only reason I'm running back here is I want to see if the, uh, like, usually they'll have a billboard that's got, like, all the dates on it in here, and I am not seeing one. Interesting. Maybe, oh, oh, right here's one, except it's all blurry. Um, that's literally it. If the texture would load in ever, I'm running around too fast. Let's see. What if I open up another one? Oh my gosh. Why? Why is it doing this to me? Oh my God. Like literal legit, that is the that's the 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 schedule for IAE. I'm I'm pretty sure it is. There it is, there it is. It finally loaded in. So yeah, November 18th and 19th, Drake Interplanetary. And then in the Zenith Hall, so we've got two halls. So tomorrow we've got Origin Jump Works. On the 20th. At 11 a.m. Eastern Time, Drake Interplanetary is going to go away. And then we're going to have Aegis Dynamics. On the 21st, Origin is going to go away. And we're going to have Alien Day, which is Apoa, Banu, Gatak, and Xperia. On the 22nd, we've got Anvil Aerospace. The 23rd, Argo, Consolidated Outland, Grey Cat, and Kruger. The 24th, we've got Crusader Industries and Tumbral Land Systems. 25th and 26th, Miscellaneous. I don't know what that's all about. Um, and then 26th and 27th, Robert Space Industries. Um, we're expecting possibly a concept, like an RSI concept ship coming out. I have not heard of any, I haven't even heard rumors of potential you know, additional ships coming out other than a possible RSI concept sale, which may be in the capital or subcapital class. I don't know. We'll, we'll wait to see. November 27th to 30th, best in show. Uh, and then also keep in mind, there is a free fly event going on. So, you know, Jason Red, if you want to sign up, you can... Use my referral link in the video description. Um, sign up for a free account, download the game, um, and give it a try. See how it plays on your, your GTX 1080. Um, and, and that goes with everybody. So if you're watching this video, you've been thinking about giving Star Citizen a try. I mean, it's bigger than ju just this. It's not just an expo. I mean, we're literally, this is a drop in the ocean of everything that's in Star Citizen, and it's expanding all the time. It's freaking crazy. Never played anything like this before. This is my dream game. If I had to like get rid of all my other games, this would be the one I would stay with. Sorry to all my farming sim and construction sim fans, my Gold Rush fans, my Raft fans, but 
Star Citizen, this is this is my game right here. It really, it really, truly is. But um, that is going to be it for me. Thank you so much for joining me for this live stream today. Um, as always, don't forget to like the video, share, comment, subscribe if you're new to the channel. And again, if you're if you want to give Star Citizen a try, I'm, I'm going to have a referral link down in the video description. You just click the link, sign up for your account. It's absolutely free. And today, which is the 18th of November, 2022, until November 30th, uh, Star Citizen is completely free, uh, free fly event. It's about an 80, 85, it, I don't know, I'm going to say 80 gigabytes to download. It's not a small download, but uh, if you want to give it a try, now is a perfect time. You're going to be able to see all the ships. You can even rent all the ships for free. You know, I'm kind of an idiot. Um, because I can I can walk right up to this ship maybe come on come on and I can rent the ship for free and I could go and fly it oh my gosh okay wait 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 the video's not over yet the stream's not over yet oh my god I'm such an idiot no I cannot believe. I cannot believe I did not consider this earlier. I am. Oh my god. Did I did I tell you it's like in the morning? I've only had one cup of coffee. Oh my gosh! I need more sleep. I need more coffee, and I need more sleep. We can go right out here and rent one of these new ships. We can rent a cutter absolutely free. You don't have to pay a dime for it. You just run up, hold F, and rent the thing. Absolutely free. What? Come on. It's going to take forever processing. There we go. Purchase complete. Absolutely free. See? When you click rent, it's probably going to come up with an error. Yeah, see, Drake Cutter, Zero, Alpha UEC. Oh, my gosh. I feel like such a tr like an idiot. I really do. Oh, man. I'm never going to live this down. <laughs> I should know better. I should know better. I want to try this cutter out. I don't know why. We we flew the uh, the Corsair no two days ago. Flies like a constellation, pretty much. And I honestly, I think they're going to get some feedback on the 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 flight dynamics of the Corsair. I wasn't I wasn't overwhelmed with it, but being that they're going to be changing the entire flight envelope. Uh, probably, well, definitely by 4.0, but I don't know, 3.18, 3.19. Um, you know, that, that could be part of that new, uh, the new flight model. I, I, you know, I just don't know. All right. Expo lobby. Game over. Cool me says game over yet. Yeah. No, it's not game over yet. I tricked you guys. You guys thought, but I had a bigger plan in mind. No, I'm I'm totally an idiot. I was just my brain was turned off. I'm in cruise control. I didn't get to you know, I don't know. I've been having like lots of stress lately with my mom and you know it's weird. Like one day she's not feeling good good and then the next day she's like um you know she feels like a new person. Like she literally is like, I feel like a new person. I don't know. I don't know how this has happened. So I just, you know, it's been it's been pretty rough. And I lay in bed and I toss and turn and, you know, I think about I think about my mom. I think about my friends who are, you know, affected by the war in Ukraine. And um, I don't know. I stress out about things that I can't, you know, that I have no control of sometimes but anyway um i have not been sleeping well so i actually got fairly decent night's sleep last night so that was good 
I was like, I got to go to bed somewhat early because I have to get up for IAE, do some coverage, check out the expo hall. I feel like running up to the 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 juice bar and getting something to drink here, but uh, maybe I'll just go over to the spaceport, get some extra drink. Yeah. Well, regardless, we're definitely going to have to take the cutter somewhere where we can actually see what's going on and everything's not nighttime. We could go over to the commons and go to the disco and see the laser light show, which is It's, it's, it absolutely amazes me that they're able to put something like that in a game. Like, I, I don't even, I can't even fathom, like, the, the planning that went into to doing that. And bringing this kind of a, a seamless world to life. Um, that's why I'm so kind of heavily invested in Star Citizen, just because it's such a... You know, they're, they're doing things in this game that have never been done before, which I think is fascinating. Let's see. We are at the elevators, taking the elevator up to the spaceport. Hey, Baba. Oh, she looked at me. That was creepy. <laughs> She's like, what you look at that? And it's Pico. All right. Get some water here. Um, where is the, where are the garbage receptacles? Oh, here's one. I don't want to inspect it. I just want to drop it. No, I don't want to inspect it. Okay, that's weird. Okay, I need to get a Pico. It's still not working. Really interesting. I wonder if this one does. No. Nope. Let's see. Jason Red says, I've always liked the ship designs and graphics for the game. It just always seems not finished or buggy. Well, that is very true. The game is in alpha. Um, so it's kind of, you know, you got to think of it as an early access game. In a lot of ways, uh, and yeah, it's definitely super buggy. Like some of the releases are super buggy, and I, <laughs> yay, it's Pico. Okay, hey Pico. Oh God. Hey, somebody's got his Pico. Or her Pico. <laughs> There's just Picos everywhere. Um, let's see if we can do this with Pico. Welcome to the Oh God, I'm not, am I going to be able to see it? Drake Corsair. Drake cuts, cutter, cutter. 
Oh, it's at Loreville. Great. Oh, it's only got a one minute uh, claim time. That's pretty good. We're going to just expedite that. And I guess I might, well. Oh, come on. Where are we getting delivered to here? Hangar 13. All right, Pico, let's, uh, let's go. <laughs> what other game in the universe can you pick up a Pico the Penguin and, and run around with it? Wait, it was Hangar 13, right? And it's the cutter. Uh, there's also some paint, uh, some paints available for them for the cutter. So this is like the base paint scheme. There's three other ones. Kind of an ugly ship, but. Definitely a, a very good, um, well-rounded starter. Not really crazy about having such a large cargo bay, but only two SCU of cargo. That seems kind of anemic. That's really, I think, my only complaint. All right, Pico. Oh, man. Oh, he's like killing me. No, I want to place Pico down. Come on now. Come on, Pico. Why gotta be like that? Okay, well you're just gonna be on the floor in here then. Darn Pico. Okay, we're gonna call for Gonna call for um, takeoff clearance. There we go. Takes a little bit. And I've got my uh, Toby eye tracker. I think today uh, is the last day for the 15% off the Toby eye tracker deal. So if you're thinking about getting one, That'll save you 45 bucks or something like that, or I don't know, maybe not quite that much. Definitely over 30. All right, so here we go. Oh, and I think we can even, yeah, we can even go into VTOL mode. See how she flies. Really not too bad. There's the massive spaceport out there. Uh, let's see. Okay, okay so that's that. Alt-K? No? Okay, there's the lights. Um... 
Oh, there it is. Armored canopy. Yeah, there we go. So we've got these little side windows. Or side, uh... Oh gosh. Yeah, do you see it open up there? See see how it's like nice and open? That's pretty cool. Finny Graphics says nice potato. Yeah, it is kind of like a little potato of a ship. I don't know, it's growing on me. Like when I first when I first saw it the front end i thought man this thing is butt ugly but there's something um there's just something about it and actually it flies pretty darn good I gotta, I gotta go see if we can get a STV in here. So let's, uh, let's head up to Port Tressler. I like the little back windows too. It's like a little space penguin. <laughs> it's a space potato. Uh, I am never gonna... Let's see, are we... Alright, we should be high enough. There we go. Let's see, what do we got? Orbital marker 1. Yeah, let's head up here. Glitchy. There we go. It's probably Pico back there trying to ruin it all for me. All right. Are you ready? We're gonna have to go around to the the light side of Cleo. Well, actually, wait. Wait, is Cleo the planet or the moon that's got like the ridiculously? Is it the one that's got like the ridiculous um? Windstorms. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh no! It's gonna be dark. Let's go to McGrath. Cause that that'll hopefully be. Please don't like. Oh, 
Oh, look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Oh, my gosh. The graphics. I don't know why it's skipping around so much today. It's probably because the servers are just getting destroyed. Okay, yeah. There's the, um, the snake pit right there. That's the, uh, the good old racetrack. Yeah, we can do a low pass on that, I guess. Hey, there's somebody down there already. Looks like we just have two guns there. He must be down. He must be down practicing for the, uh, the races. Oh, there he is up there. my shadow down there <laughs> so let's see regard rayari mcgrath should be coming up here pretty soon there it is so i'm gonna put the landing gear down see trying to find a flat spot it does look like it might be pretty windy out here let's see how the landing gear does okay Ooh, the engine sounds are pretty good all right I still had the quantum drive fired up. Pico! Uh, I better close the door. I don't want I don't want Pico to be exposed to the vacuum out here. Oh wait. Open? Oh, open, close. Oh, so we actually have to press the button. I don't know if a... Ah! Uh, I don't know if the STV is going to fit. I have doubts. Oh, no. I think I only have one STV. And it's in my other... It's in my 400i. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I guess I'm going to have to file a claim. Well, actually, no. Let's see. What can I do? Anyone need a hover quad? I have 12 of them. Okay. Let's try a Drake Mule. If this thing fits in here, that's going to be pretty huge. Your 
I don't think that it's going to fit, but... Whoa. Oh, it's the... Okay, I'm like, why... I don't remember having a green paint scheme. It, this is the grit, like the, the steel, that stainless steel paint. But because the atmosphere is like this... Wow. The green color, it's reflecting the... I tell you, the lighting in this game is just second to none. Uh, are we in? It's going to be close. No way. Now the now the real question is can I get out without blowing up the ship? Um oh gosh. Wait, open door. Oh, this is so close. Casual Gamer Dad says, Hey Brad, how are you doing today? I am doing all right. I am doing all right. Oh gosh. No freaking way. No way. Okay, it's tight. Uh, now can I, Pico, <laughs> good old Pico. Now, okay, here we go. We might die right here. No kidding. All right, I did not think that that would fit. I really didn't. I thought it would be close. Let's see, all right, open exterior. Um, can you back in? Yes, you could, but then you wouldn't be able to get into the ship because there's literally no room to go around the wheels and there's not a secondary entrance. The back entrance is the only entrance. Oh gosh. Oh. Like bashing me in the head. All right, so there's one. Oh, wait, do I have to request? Hold on. I think I actually have to request docking. And which one is that? Of course, I can't see it. And of course it was the one I was sitting on. All right. All right. Oh, this is such a beautiful planet. And there's better ones. Ooh, 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 loot. 
Oh yeah. Oh yeah. We need a med gun. We need water. We need multi tools. I'm gonna take all the the liquids out. Ooh, we've got MREs. We've got smoke daddy snaggle sticks. Look at that. Got some apples. Gotta get these. Gotta get these. Gotta get the nutrient bars. All right. Okay, we're going to store him. This one's going to get me in trouble. Your insurance claim has been <clears throat> now, your vehicle has been moved to our storage facility. I'm going to be shocked. If this will fit on, if it, if this will fit on the ship, I really will be. Come on, I know you can do it. Your vehicle has been delivered to Thank the you. Casual Gamer Dad says, I think this is the first time I have ever seen this game being played. By me or by someone else? Uh-oh, see, he's checking out the cutter. Okay, let's see. Is there going to be enough room? We're going to have to leave enough, try to leave enough on the side. Thank you. Fit it in. It'll fit, but will it sit? Okay, let's power it down. We're getting out, and yeah, I think so. Oh no, oh no. Oh, we can get past it. Now can we get out? Okay, this is where the stream ends because I'm not gonna be able to get out of the ship. No, we can get out there. Oh, uh, can we, cl it's tight. It is tight, definitely. And right there, I can't walk through here, but let me see if I can. Nope, can't do that. But if I jump a little bit, you, we can get past it. And of course, the door sensor is going crazy. Impact. <laughs> Check out. Wait, come on, close the door. I love how it's like impact hazard. It's like the baby smasher. Oh no. All right. So that definitely works. The PTV is definitely going to fit in here. No problems. Uh, let's see, power up. Systems activating. Systems on. Okay. 
I can't. Oh. What? Come on. Oh, there we go. Uh. Who are these people? Wait. Yes, I know I'm blocking an active flight bay. I'm sorry. Okay, which one? Oh, that one. Landing complete. Have a pleasant stay. Thank you. I gotta, I gotta admit, for four, for a forty dollars ship, that's pretty. It, that's that a pretty good ship. It for like when I first saw, you know, what it looked like, I was like, oh god, but I, it's it's definitely growing on me. So let's tr let's um store. Let's see. First of all, let's claim the the PTV. We're going to store the STV. Retrieve the PTV. Now, the PTV is like the golf cart, literally. And you can, you can tell how much smaller it is than the STV. <gasps> Ooh, there's a red loot box. This is going to be good, maybe. Oh, yeah. Let's see. What do we got? We got... Some arms. We've got a ADP Mark IV helmet. That's the big. That's the big one. Yeah, that's the heavy one. I think. Yep, heavy armor. And then we've got the Argus helmet. Don't really care so much about that. We're gonna pull that out, drop it on the floor so that the the red case. Um, will respawn maybe eventually all right so now we got the little golf cart here they really need to redo this one just look how look how old look <laughs> look at look at how crappy the textures are on the on the steering wheel this is literally one of the very first this is the first rover for sure I love how it sounds though. They just really need to do like an update pass on it. You know, get uh, some high resolution textures on there. I mean, even on the front, look look at how crappy. Thank you. Come on. Look how bad. Oh, I can't really see it. Okay. I'll have to point it out. Yeah, this one fits in here no problem. Look, we've got all kinds of room. Ah! Darn you, camera view! Yeah, look how look how pixelated around the headlight that looks. Ugh. Let's 
it's a neat little rover. Like if you need just a little tiny rover, it's it's really good. But yeah. All right. Next up, we are going to call. Should I try to get a dragonfly in there? I feel like bad, bad, bad things are going to happen if I try to put a dragonfly in there. But I kind of want to put a dragonfly in there. Power down. Yeah, just like. Yeah, see how like just bad the like some of the. The, the textures on this are just horrible, but it's old. This is like one of the old ones. Meanwhile, let's go. Let's just come over here and compare the level of detail on a current, like, brand new, newly released ship. And like, hello. I mean, there's a little bit on the on the textures, but like, like right here. Look how, look how clean the, the Allen screws are. Or like, or the panels, how nice and sharp and clean everything is. Just the level of detail in this game is ridiculous. The cutter scene, let's see, Jason Red says the cutter seems really nice for early game cargo transport. How is it in combat? <gasps> don't scare me. No, I, you know what? I don't think, I honestly, I don't think that, um, We're going to be able to get, I don't know. I'm going to assume these are either size one or size two guns. They might be size two guns, um, but apparently this thing's got a pretty beefy shield. All right. What I'm going to do since I'm here, let's try to get the dragonfly on there. Actually... There's somebody's hover quad here. I wonder if I can get this. I wonder if I can get on it. I can. Okay, I can even fire this up. it's really twitchy there we go this is where I die so far so good oh oh no not bad it would be better if we can back it in. This is really, uh, let's see here. So that definitely fits. I don't think that the uh, the dragonflies the dragonfly will fit because it's way longer than the the hover quad. Now here's the next test. When we fire this bad boy up, is it going to want to go through the roof? Oh, thank gosh. So if you if you back the throttle off and you just come out really slow, you're not going to have a problem. All right. Welcome to the 
Karen, I'm I'm sure I'm I'm sure I'm saying your name wrong, but Kieran, Kieran, Kieran. Does any uh, anybody know a way to get past error code sixteen thousand eight? Well, I tell you what, let's look it up. Star Citizen error code sixteen thousand eight. Uh, let's see here. Synchronizing account data with game network either failed or timed out. Players have reported encountering this error when attempting to enter the game. The main cause of this error is due to players attempting to log in during service outages, but it's generally caused by some sort of data transfer issue between a player's computer and the servers. If you see this error, please close the game client and launcher completely. So uh, from your RSI launcher, log out of your account, close the launcher completely, do the control alt delete, or go down into your system tray, click on the up arrow, right click on the RSI icon and, and quit, that, uh, quit the launcher app. Uh, once that is done, wait about an hour and attempt to log in again. Oh gosh, this will allow time for our services to recover should that be the underlying cause. Some players have also reported su success after restarting their computer. I would actually try the computer restart first. Um, I think the whole waiting an hour is probably a bit excessive. Uh, let's see, Grey Cat PP farts. What? Uh, and yes, the cutter is live. I love how the the ramp sound is kind of clunky-ish. You know what I mean? Sounds really nice. All right, engines on. Gear up, cruise on. All right, let's see if we can do like a combat mission of some sort. Well, let's do a very low risk. We'll do a VLRT. This is going to be about what you're going to have with the starter uh, bounty missions. So let's give this a try. And there it is right along the horizon. Gonna try PC restart. Yeah, good luck with that and uh, report back and let us know how that worked out. Uh oh. Okay, he looks like he's near the Microtech data center on the other side of the planet. So we're gonna be in the dark on this.
Oh, he's way over there. Okay. Oh, is he in space? No, no, no way. So we are going to need to gain some altitude to get a decent amount of speed. Otherwise, it's going to take us like a half hour to get over to him. Is he now? I don't think it's going to let us um, target him. I don't think it's going to. Nope. So we're up to 640 meters per second, closing in on the target. Eh, a couple minutes out. See here, 88 kilometers left. Oh, it's this dog fighting in the dark is gonna suck. Probably about another minute out. Uh, the Fireman77 asks, are, am I using Track IR? No, I'm using the Toby Eye Tracker. Specifically Head Tracker. All right, let's start heading down. Do we have, okay, we do have gimbals, whoa.
29 kilometers. We're starting to slow down. We're hitting the atmosphere. The further down in the atmosphere we get, the slower we get. Fourteen clicks. We should get a radar contact here pretty soon. Okay, there we go. Neutralize. We don't have the radar contact, but we did see the... Okay, there it is. There it is. Oh, there it's not. See, we're in a Mustang. Well, they're in a Mustang Delta. Okay, let's slow down the maneuvering speed here. I'm gonna take crews off. We got another target. Oh, oh, we got an eclipse. Oh gosh, oh, I'm getting wrecked. Yes. Oh, okay, our shields are down. Come on, let's get those shields back up. <laughs> well, I just took out an Aegis Eclipse, and those things have pretty thick shields. So... I don't know what this guy's doing. He's just, like, hanging out. This guy should be no problem. What is he doing? Nice. All right, so there's our there's our bounty. That's a very low risk target. see here <laughs> oh let's see um, let's see we got medium oh gosh uh, LRT let's try an LRT Uh, okay, all right. Oh, uh, let's see, where do we got? Oh, uh, now we're on the other side of the planet. Uh, Rayari, okay. Josh Johnson says, hey, Brad, greetings from Dayton. Nice, right up the road. Uh, let's see, the Fireman 77 says, I just got Toby's suggestions on setup. Um, yes, turn off eye tracking. Uh, let's see here. 
Do 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 do. Yeah, so basically, I turn off Toby for everything except in the cockpit. If you want to keep it on, like for FPS, um, you can try it, you know, and see what you think. I really didn't like it. What I do want to, uh, let's see here, where is it? So we got to go down to the Toby eye tracking. Uh, let's see. What I personally like right here, head tracking Toby, seated, input mix, zero gaze, one head. That means it's not going to use my eyes at all to, um, to track. So it's not going to track my eyes. It's just going to track my head. Because I found that if, if it was just tracking my eye, well, if it was tracking my eyes in any capacity, it was getting really, really uncomfortable and, uh, and disorienting. So, all right. So Hubert's last known position is over the Clearview Emergency Shelter. Cool me says, hi, Brad. Hi, chat. Hello, cool me. Uh, see, okay, uh, mine seems laggy. Uh, yeah, occasionally it does seem kind of wonky. Make sure that your Toby eye tracker drivers are updated. Uh, your GPU, your graphics card drivers are uh, as up-to-date as possible. Uh, Windows update, all that fun stuff. Make sure that that's all updated. There we go. Now we're going to have some combat in Atmo at, you know, in the daylight. This one might be a little bit tougher. Let's hope we don't die. Okay, the Clearview Emergency Shelter is down below. They, they should have put like a little mini turret for like a like a second person to come in and and take over your turret just like a little tiny one up top <laughs> Quantum drive is off, last known position, 9,000 meters out. Okay, got a contact there. Oh no, an Aegis Gladius. Okay, there's the, the target there. Still don't have a, up oh, there he is. Erland Miller. Oh, gosh, we've got an eclipse. I'm going to take this Gladius out first, I think. Okay, we got a missile fired inbound. Let's hit A. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. Lots of missiles. Oh, oh, laggy. Oh, he's down. All right, what do we got? Oh, it's an M50 interceptor. Oh, we are getting wrecked. Oh, he's down. He's dead. He's dead. Oh, I don't have call to arms active, darn it. Well, I'm not going to set it up now.
Yeah, you go into the ground. I got him now. Oh. Nice, nice. So honestly, this this little cutter, it's gonna get you started. I gotta I gotta admit, it's not a bad little ship. Shields seem to be pretty good. Wait, where's the uh, oh gosh, no no. Where's the? Uh, let's see. Clear view. There we is. There we are. Let's see, let's put the gear down here. Ah, there it is. Barebi, hey Barebi, how you doing? Oh, uh, let's see. Longsy says, Brad just costs me money. Stop playing games I have to buy after watching you play. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry. But if you buy Star Citizen, use my referral code. It's down in the video description. Get you an extra 5,000 Alpha UEC starting off. And I don't feel like I'm on a flat. Oh gosh, I got my mic in front of my face here. I don't feel like I'm on a flat surface, am I? Yeah, it's probably flat enough. All right, engines off. I don't know that I've ever been to this emergency aid shelter. I don't know what's in here. We're gonna go in and see. Uh, let's see, I never would have bought Farming Sim, but after watching you play, I had to buy it. Keeps costing me money. I am sorry. I'm really sorry. I feel this. <laughs> you know you like it. You know it. Let's see here. Ooh, I'm getting. I just realized. I'm getting really freaking hungry. I haven't eaten breakfast today. It's 1.08 p.m. Please let there be something for me to steal in here. Power cell accepted and active. How much do you want to bet that we're going to have, like, missions to drop off power cells at the emergency storage? Oh! What is this? What is this? Well, we've got some cargo containers, but they're not really anything super special. So I don't know. We'll take off. We'll get out of here. Uh, Barevi says, I see you are testing the new ship. Well, he says, testing yee ne ship. <laughs> Well, with Star Citizen, having a decent graphics card is fairly important. The biggest thing is having a fast hard drive. So either having a, a really fast M.2 drive, like an NVMe, um, SSD at minimum, but if you've got an NVMe drive, uh, an M.2 NVMe, you should be golden. Otherwise, your load times are gonna be crazy, crazy uh, long. And uh, yeah, it's just not gonna, not gonna be a very fun experience. 
And obviously, you, you do need a decent CPU. 32 gigs of RAM is also kind of a must-have, uh, though you can get away with 16 if you've got a really fast hard drive. So that's it, that's the Drake Cutter. This year at IAE 2942. It's available for sale right now, 40 bucks, Warbond. Uh, was it 45 standalone? Let me go and look again. I gotta go look again. Yeah, $40 war bond, $45 standalone. And let's see, actually, wait, 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 blah, 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 blah. I wonder if they've got a starter pack. Sorry, I'm looking over, <laughs> I'm looking over at my other uh, computer. They actually have, wow. Okay, this is like a really good deal. So they've got this, the Cutter IAE Starter Pack includes the free game download and bonus paint for $45. That's the best one that they've done. Otherwise it's 60 bucks. That's 25% off, which I'll be honest is quite, I'm giving, I'm making everybody seasick. Um, that's actually quite generous for uh for cig all right come on get my face going okay now i can see my face all right where's new babbage we got to go and land oh there it is So we'll align the new Babbage and quantum over there. Woohoo! And maybe I'll come back later tonight and uh, do some live streaming with the uh, the Corsair. Maybe we'll do some VHRTs or ERTs. Um, I've heard. Oh, look how beautiful that is! I've actually heard that. Uh, the Corsair melts hammerhead. So that'll be quite, that'll be a lot of fun uh, making some good money. Did you say moon cabbage? No, new babbage. And it's still nighttime. I'm just going to make landing a little bit more challenging. Let's see, where is the space? Oh, it's way over there. Yep. the dog tails I 
I gotta keep looking at my computer screen here to uh See, I don't think the cutter is ugly. It's kind of nice. It looks efficient. Jason, I think you hit the nail right on the head. It definitely is efficient. I need. I do need to land and, and actually check out what type of uh, guns this has. I want to say they're size twos, but I mean they got the job done. If there's, I don't think they're size threes. Oh, we got a contact. ATC to land. All right, landing gear down. Landing light is on. Wait, did we get landing clearance? Uh, I'm almost out of water. <sighs> That's better. Look at all the ships. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right, so we've got one of the, okay, I got, I got it, I got it. Right in here. Looks like we're in hangar two. Ooh, we got the light coming off the snow there. Maybe I'll turn my landing light off. All right. I would say, oh man, between this and the, the Avenger Titan, oh man, that's gonna be a toss up. I'll be honest, I like the way the Avenger Titan looks. The Avenger Titan also has more cargo capacity. Um, but this one's a little bit bigger. Uh, you can obviously fit larger rovers in here, but it's only got, see, it's only got the two SCU of cargo, which actually, that really surprised me. I thought they would go with four or six SCU but SCU stands for standard cargo unit though. So for those of you who do not know what I'm talking about, I'm, a, I'm just slightly disappointed that they didn't put like an external door. See, this looks like a door right here, but it's component access. Main, uh, maintenance should be performed. Yeah, see, I, th I, th I would have thought if they could have put in a side access door with a ladder that would have made a lot more sense. But hey, I'll take it for a starter ship. It's pretty cool. Well, guys and gals, that's going to be it for me. Thank you all so much for joining me. I can't believe it's what, for over two hours. And um, Interna Intergalactic Aerospace Expo started today, two hours ago, two hours and 20 minutes ago. Um, so they, they're, again, they're doing a free fly event. So if you're not currently a star citizen backer uh you can you can give it a try for free use my referral link down in the video description sign up for a free account uh and download the client and uh you know see how it runs on your pc and if you like it you know pick up a starter pack great deal 45 bucks uh 20 uh 25 off usually the uh cutty or i'm sorry cutter that's going to get confusing cutty cutter uh, but anyway, it's usually 60 bucks. It's $45 right now through IAE. Uh, the free fly event and the uh, expo run until November 30th. So I want to thank everybody once again for joining me. Like, share, comment, subscribe, all that fun stuff. I'm Brad M73. I'll see you all next time. Bye for now.